Hi there. Welcome. In this video, we will explore S4 HANA stock room management and try to make it clear what it is, and what it is not. Sit tight. We will give you the background for stock room management, present the options you have when transforming your WM into S4 HANA. In addition, we will also touch the functional differences and in the end, show you what you need to do if stock room management becomes your choice. This video presents a high-level and generic overview of a specific SAP product or functionality. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. The goal of this video is to provide information that will make it easier for you to make your own choices. Before we dive into stock room management, we need to have a look at the evolution of SAP warehousing to understand how stock room management came to be. As this rather busy overview shows, SAP has continued to invest, not only in its core ERP product but also massively into warehousing. EWM, Extended Warehouse Management represents an unbroken and continuous innovation journey, illustrated by yearly product releases, constantly adding new features and functionalities. Over the years, SAP has reinvented warehousing completely. First, making a fresh start back in 2006 when introducing SAP EWM as a successor of WM. EWM ran initially on the SCM NetWeaver platform, until SAP made yet another strategic decision, and made EWM the default warehouse management system of S4 HANA. Since 2017, EWM runs on an S4 core, either embedded in S4 HANA Enterprise Management, or on a decentralized instance. A big chunk of the SAP customers has yet to make the leap to EWM. Many have continued to rely on WM, and are now facing some tough choices when embarking on their transition to S4 HANA. As of now, the old WM is part of the compatibility scope of S4 HANA. Unfortunately, this scope will disappear in S4 HANA by the end of 2025. For customers remaining on SAP ECC, WM goes out of general maintenance two years later, in 2027 with an option to buy extended support until the end of 2030. As a helping hand to those customers with a huge number of warehouses and not seeing themselves able to convert all their warehouses to EWM in time, SAP announced the introduction of stockroom management. Since we now know why stockroom management exists, let's dive a bit deeper into what it really means. As you will see shortly, stockroom management is not a new product. In reality, it is an extended software usage rights, for a reduced scope of WM. SAP introduces stock room management functionality more as a bridge to the future than as a strategic solution in itself. Greenfield installations based on stock room management should not be considered future-proof, and should, if I may say so, be avoided. Compared to the WM and compatibility scope, functionality in stock room management is reduced, for example no task and resource management, no value-added services, no cross-docking, no picking waves, no integration to warehouse control systems. We will look a bit closer at the functional differences later. Stock room management is first and foremost relevant for small warehouses with mostly manual operations. It offers storage bin management and supports basic warehouse operations. Please be aware that unlike for example basic EWM, stock room management offers no enhancements nor development plans. With the last developments delivered in 2003, the use of stock room management represents no real down payment on technological debt. Let us look a bit more on the options you have when embarking on your S4 HANA journey, from a warehousing perspective. You could decide to move your current EWM into stockroom management. Later we will look at how to get going on that. A more strategic route would be to implement EWM, basic or advanced, depending on your functional requirements. EWM can be deployed embedded in S4 HANA Enterprise Management, however, also decentralized, on a separate instance. Please see another video of ours that takes you through the pro and cons on that topic. An important part of your decision process should include careful consideration of your functional requirements. Let's have a brief look into the differences. When looking at the basic requirements, we can see that EWM, both basic and advanced, seem to have it almost all covered. Adding stock room management and classic WM to the picture makes it look not as good. If we go one step further, by adding additional functional requirements, history repeats itself. Basic and advanced EWM looks good. Stock room management and classic WM not so much. So far, we have looked at the background, 
the options and the functional differences regarding stockroom management. If you are prepared to move towards stockroom management, there are certain steps you need to take. We will cover some of them here. To understand how feasible a journey towards stockroom management is, SAP is providing a scope compliance check for stockroom management. Please look up SAP Note 2882809. Make it a favorite to ensure that you are always notified in case it's updated. Another useful note is 2577428. It will give you a better understanding of the roadmap for LWM and SAP S4 HANA. If you are curious or just need to better understand what compatibility scope is, SAP has released a document that explains this thoroughly. We will include the link in the description below. And finally, having a look at the SAP help portal could also be a useful way to gain additional insight into stockroom management. We do hope you have benefited from this overview and that your understanding of stockroom management has improved. Good luck! Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.